<laughs> Do it like 20% more enthusiastic or, or it's good the way it is. Okay. Finally, we're limiting character set creator. Sorry, I messed up. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Ashley and welcome back to the latest creator roundup. As always, if you want any more info, check out the description below. Let's jump in. If you upload or manage your content on mobile, this updates for you. Copyright and ad suitability checks are now available on the Studio Mobile app for Android and iOS. These checks help creators become aware of any potential restrictions. Plus, this gives you the chance to address those issues before the videos publish. This means that you'll now be able to see the status of your checks in the video details of your upload, choose to get a mobile notification when the checks are complete, and then publish your video straight from the app if everything's good to go. We've heard from the YouTube community that identity abuse related spam is a big concern. As part of our ongoing work to reduce spam, we have three updates to share that'll better protect our viewers and creators from bad actors. First, as of July 29th, channels won't be able to hide their subscriber counts. We've seen bad actors hide their sub count to impersonate larger channels on YouTube. They pretend to be other creators in comments, then lure people to their impersonating channel page. Second, we've also launched an improved comment moderation setting in YouTube Studio. All creators can use our new setting to increase strictness in the Held for Review tab. This is an optional feature that'll filter out even more spam and identity abuse comments. Finally, we're limiting the character set creators can choose from when naming their channels. We frequently see channels use special characters in their channel names in an attempt to impersonate more established channels. For example, channels won't be able to update their name to something like YouTube with this change. We're always thinking of ways to show more love to your channel members. So we're excited to share that members can now be featured on a shelf at the top of your channel page. This feature will automatically be turned on once your channel has eight or more members and you can adjust the placement of it on your channel using the customization tab in YouTube Studio. Featured members are randomly selected and will change often to give more members the chance to shine. And members viewing your channel page will always find their own avatar on the shelf. If you ever want to turn this off, you can do so in Studio by going to monetization and then memberships. Analytics in the YouTube app helps you see how your channel and shorts are performing right from your phone. You can find your channel level analytics by opening the YouTube app, tapping your profile icon in the top right corner, tapping your channel, and then tapping the analytics button. And if you want to find analytics for your specific shorts, you can go to library, then your videos, then filter by shorts. Once you're on the watch page for your short, click analytics. We recently launched a video with more info on analytics in the YouTube main app, so check it out below. And that's it for July's roundup. Let us know what you think about these updates in the comments below. Thanks for watching.